What's up and welcome to My Point of View. I am your fat and opinionated host. And it looks as if we got ourselves a little situation. In fact, I'm calling a technical foul. Technical foul. Because it appears that the lawyer or the court appointed lawyer that is defending Brian Koberger, it just so happens that she was already working on a case involving one of the victim's mothers, Zana Carnado's, Carnado's mother was actually being defended by the same lawyer in an ongoing case. And from how it looks, it looks as if this court appointed lawyer of um, Koberger's just straight up dropped Zana Carnado's mother's case for Koberger. I mean, just dropped her high left her high and dry and went on to Koberger. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't work for the ju criminal justice system. I don't work for the courts. I don't know exactly how this works, but she was definitely covering our, she was definitely working for Zana Carnado's mother when the Brian Koberger case reached her desk. And then it looks as if she made a decision between the two and decided, hmm, defend this victim's mother from some substances charges or should I try to get Koberger off of this? And she chose the Koberger. But let's go ahead and dive into this article, get a little bit of um, some more details so we can better understand this situation. Court records show that on January 5th, Ann Taylor withdrew as counsel for Kara Carnado, the mother of Zana Carnado. The public defender who is representing Brian Koberger in his trial had previously been assigned a case involving one of his alleged victim's parents. Court records obtained by Inside Edition show that on January 5th, Ann Taylor withdrew as counsel for Kara Carnado, the mother of Zana Carnado. The very same day, a judge appointed Taylor as Koberger's public defender. Taylor had been representing Kara for over a month after her arrest on November 19th in Kootenay County, just a few days after her daughter's murder. She is charged with two felony counts for possession of a controlled substance. She is currently listed on the Kootenay, I know I'm butchering that, County Sheriff's Office. Kara and her new attorney did not respond to request for comment. There was a brief period of overlap with these two clients, with court records showing Taylor was appointed as Koberger's counsel on the morning of January 5th, and then filing a substitution of counsel brief in the Canado case later that afternoon. So like I said, I'm no expert. Maybe this just how this is just how things go. But it's got to feel weird. It's got to be heartbreaking. It's got to be hurtful. It's got to be a multitude of things for Kara Carnado. For your daughter to have been taken away in the way that she was. And then days later you're battling with whatever issue she's battling with. And then she gets into some legal issues. And then her attorney, who's representing her already, says, you know what? Yeah, I don't know about this. You know what? I think instead of representing you in your case, I'm going to go represent the guy who allegedly murdered your daughter. So like I said, I mean, maybe this is just how things go. But if that's the case, then that's grotesque. I don't have any respect for how this situation is playing out. If you ask me, it looks like a conflict of interest. You're representing one of the victim's mothers. And then weeks into that case, you take the Koberger case. And, and it's almost as if you just like wipe the other woman away. Oh, these, these charges. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to worry about that. I want a bigger case. Is this about this woman trying to make a name? I know that this is a small town. You know, they don't have a lot of public defenders. In fact, I don't even think this lawyer is technically a public defender. They actually just have real lawyers that they hire for. I don't know how the situation goes down. It's weird out there in Idaho. 
but she's not your everyday run-of-the-mill public defender either but for them to take her off this case and put her on the Koberger case knowing that she was representing the mother of one of the victims I find that absolutely disgusting. I don't know how they can continue with this going forward. Surely there should have been someone else that could have represented Koberger. But this woman is serious about this case. This woman, is, I think she believes she can get Koberger off and I think she wants to. I honestly believe that this woman is going to try to make her a, a name for herself with this case. She knows it's big. She knows it's popular. She knows there's going to be a lot of eyes on her. So she dropped one of the victim's mothers and represented Koberger, thinking this is going to be her Johnny Cochran moment. But anyways, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and remember to always remain opinionated.